welcome back y'all we are back to work on cash stuffing the home section of our binder y'all so today it is cold it is wet it is rainy it's 44 degrees it is thursday but it's gonna be a good weekend a couple of updates that we'll be speaking about as well and my next video that's coming out will be my debt update i probably will be doing it tonight it's gonna be super duper fast because i have totally just simplified everything and my life is getting better at doing it so it's making me very happy easy to do my videos and a lot less stress-free and a lot less mistakes so with that being said let's go ahead and show you how much we're going to be cast upping today we'll get into some updates and we'll talk about all the things. So we have 100, 200, we're gonna put that aside. So that's 200, 20, 40, 60, 83. So we have $300 for today, a little bit bigger than usual. And the reason for that is you'll see here in just a minute. So our first envelope is our 100 envelope challenge. Y'all, I have stopped trying to color or ask my children to color in these trackers, it is a pain for them to color in. They hate the color. Blind people like me can't color. I couldn't stay in the lines if my life was on the line, literally. <laughs> and um, so I am using a running tracker off here to the right-hand side in my binder. I've almost got my binder solidified even more down than what I had it, so I can simplify that as well because that is just what I need in my life. I need a lot of simplification. So. With this being said, this 100 envelope challenge, we are still in the first rotation. We're gonna need it four times, a minimum of four times before we can do our house down payment. We are putting $20 in today. We are doing well. Every quarter, I will give you guys a running total of where we're at in all of our envelopes. I just gave that in last week's rotation. So um, all the things have been done for this quarter. I will give another update in about three more months. Our next one is moving. When we move, I expect to make sure we have enough money not only to move to whatever state we choose to move to, we are gonna be moving out of Missouri, that is for sure, but also to make sure that the help that we have hired and the movers that will be doing the moving truck will be able to be paid in full immediately. Now, we will pack the boxes ourselves, but they will be moving all the boxes and all the heavy items onto the truck. They'll be loading the truck for us. But I'm a person that wants to pack things on my own. I'm very OCD about packing. Things have to be packed orderly, neatly, organizational-wise. You would never know in my house because right now i am still got my house tore up a little bit of things that I'm getting rid of or reorganizing. So we are putting a 20 in today. But we are still organizing this house. I want to containerize pretty much my entire house. I started working on it and I need to get back to working on it because it needs to be done. So with that being said, 21 in today. Now we're going to get into our month ahead. I am so excited that when I was watching Snow Gardener 307 this weekend, no, I take that back. I was watching her yesterday. It wasn't this weekend. This weekend's coming up, y'all. It's on my mind right now because Danya just had her surgery. I'll give you an update here in just a minute about her dental surgery. I apologize. I was watching her last night, and in the middle of her video, she was like, she is going to be doing a one year in advance amount like I am for all the things. Everything from electric to gas to food to any necessity you would need to have paid for in your house or groceries, your rent, things of all that in case anything happens with your income. And she said she was going to get her envelopes together and she was gonna start this. And I am super, super duper excited. So this envelope, nope, we don't touch it. Nope, not gonna happen. Once we are done with month two, we're gonna roll into month three and just keep going until we have 12 months. Now, we do have more than just electric, gas, rent, groceries, things of that nature in here. We do have some luxury items for the kiddos that we normally have, which is our internet. I know if you're going bare bones, you can drop a lot of things in the house. We're not doing a bare bones because we're doing this in advance. That way, if anything does happen, we're gonna be okay, y'all, for a whole year. So we are in month number two. We use leftover grocery money to 
fund this 99.9% .9 of the time, and that's what we've done up till now. So I am not doing groceries next week. You all have seen my prepper pantry. You all have seen my freezers. You all have seen all the things we have in our kitchen upstairs, our shelving systems, our cabinets. Y'all, we are over, overloaded. So with that being said, I'm not going to call it a pantry challenge because it would be cheating because we don't need to challenge ourselves. We've got too much in stock. So we're just not doing groceries. We're doing a no spend on groceries next week. The $200 that I lot every single week for groceries, guess where it's going? It's going into here. <laughs> this is helping us quickly build this fund. We use $3,300 a month is what we put into the calculations to fund every single month. So when this one is done, you'll see month number three. Month number one is already in Capital One 360. Month number two is slowly but surely being transferred into Capital One 360. And after that, we're just gonna continue it. And after we're done for a whole year, y'all, we're gonna start a second year. My my goal is to have a five year fully funded in advance. Oh snap, something happened. So with that being said, Marlene from Snow Gardener 307, go check her out, y'all. She is getting ready to start this, and I am super, super excited. So that is what we did. So now that that is already said, hey, look, we don't have grocery money for next week. It's already in the bank. It's already there, and it's not being touched because now it's out. So it's in its envelope where it belongs, and uh, we are going to be showing you what we're going to be doing next week. Um, I'm going to try my best to get a couple of videos out of me and the kids making dinners and meals so you can see what we're doing and how we're using our pantry items up. Talking about pantry items, our next one is our prepper pantry stockpile items. And with this, we were originally not going to use this until we moved, but my husband's not gonna be here for at least 15 to 18 months. Our, our visa is in process, but you know, y'all, it's the government. It's kind of like that hurry up and wait that we always say. So we are putting $20 in. I may start busting into this a little bit. Y'all know I have a second channel named Without Limits Missouri Prepper. I dropped so many videos. I got so many people that were mad at me. They're like, why did you delete all those videos? Because I wanted to start over. And at first I wasn't sure I was gonna keep the channel, but then I thought, you know what? I'm gonna keep it. And instead of just shutting those off to private i deleted over 350 videos so now i'm rebuilding it i am almost at 6,000 subscribers on that channel i am going to dip into this a little bit because i am going to start restocking a few items one item that i'm going to be doing and i do what i call focus sections so when you run over to my other channel i'll be speaking shortly no the police are not out for us liz that's for you because you said you never heard <laughs> the fire department or the police or any of that in the background and we live on the 911 route y'all so that happens all day all night but with that being said we do what we call focus sections which is i pick a section downstairs in my prep pantry that is getting critically low and i backstock that entire item until it's backstocked and then i move on to the next section i can give you guys a quick heads up because my prep side don't know this yet but we're going to be restocking nine cases of peas that is 108 cans of no salt added canned sweet peas. So, shh, don't tell nobody. So we will be breaking into this. That'll cost me probably roughly around 60 bucks. Right now, canned sweet peas are a little expensive. It may cost me closer to 70 because they're still 58 cents. I was hoping they would go down to 50 cents like the corn and the green beans did, but they did not. And just a side note, in our area, and look in your area, the no salt added version of the canned goods are the exact same as the regular salt added versions. So there we go. We may be breaking into that here shortly. The next one is my emergency prep. This is towards my solar generators with an S, generators. Yes, I plan on getting a bunch of solar generators. So $20 is going in for that. And the brand name that I buy is Jackery, just so that y'all know. So that has gone in for that. Car insurance, my husband deals with that once a month. He puts in a big wad at the beginning of every month. Same thing with car insurance. Same thing with car maintenance. That's all on his side to do because I cover a lot of these other sides right now. Um, our last one that we need to do today, and then I'm going to give you the updates for those of you who want to stick around and know what's going on with the updates. There's just a few updates to give you. Um, one is on Danya's update for her dental surgery that she had on Monday, and the other is the upcoming video. So, house, 
household needs. <laughs> We're getting a 20 in here today. This is for anything that our household would need, any kind of cleaning products, any kind of other items that our household would need. I kind of have a mixture of this between this and the prep pantry because things such as paper towels, such as toilet paper, Kleenexes, things of that nature could either be for the prep side or for the household side. It just depends on what I want to pull from. I do know that spring is around the corner. My mom's birthday is March 20th, which is the first day of spring, y'all. So you will be 70 years old. And with that being said, remember, check some coupons, y'all. We're putting $20 in today because a lot of cleaner coupons are going to be out. And that is the best thing to do is grab your cleaners then. So cleaners really are in here and anything else that our household needs that is non-edible. So with that being said, that's what we have for today. For those of you sticking around, just an update on Danya's surgery real quick. She did really, really well. She is really swollen right now. She had to have two teeth literally cut out of her mouth. They did put her under for it. Um, believe it or not, shocking news, it took five minutes. Literally, they knocked her out for five minutes. They came back and I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on? I thought something was wrong because they don't usually come out after five minutes. And he's like, it's done. I'm like, what do you mean it's done? He's like, I'm done. I'm just that good. I'm that fast. <laughs> so she came home. Um, I brought her home and then I ran and got her medicine at CVS, came back home. She's on a lot of medication right now, y'all. She's on a lot of pain meds as well. We um, are just a few days out. She did stay home Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Today was a first day back she does have court tonight she is on the defense side y'all she is a junior attorney and she is working real cases in the juvenile court system so she is part of the defense team now she was part of the prosecution team she has switched over to become a defense junior attorney for um the juveniles so she's got that tonight thank god we have friday off here i'm not sure why i don't know if there's a holiday i'm kind of running behind on days but she's doing great y'all thank you to everybody who's reached out and wished her good wishes during her surgery and a fast recovery. I'm assuming in the next week or so, she'll be back to eating solids right now. She's eating everything soft that we have, everything from yogurt to ice cream, to jello, to mac and cheese, mashed potatoes, things of that nature. So we've got all of that in stock for her and she's going to be taking the next couple of weeks to heal. And then we have the weekend. After that, the only other thing I needed to speak about real quick is I will be having my debt update. It will either be going out tonight or first thing in the morning. And y'all, I made a drastic change to my debt update. So just wait and see what's going on. Some craziness. I will give you a little in a little bit there. Um, I did purchase Danya's laptop. Y'all know I did that for her for her birthday. It is on its way here currently. I'm hoping it'll be here tomorrow or maybe the day after. It can take all the way to the 14th. They did finally ship it out yesterday. I don't know why it took so long, but they shipped it out yesterday. So her Dell laptop is coming in. And then my daughter, Tori, who is 24, lives in an apartment that doesn't have washer dryer hookups. And y'all, she's spending $1.65 just to wash one load of laundry at the laundromat in cold water and apparently if you use hot water it costs more and i was like oh my gosh and that doesn't count the cost of drying so i made a deal with her i bought her a washer it's a portable beautiful 1.7 cubic foot washer that hooks up to her sink in the kitchen it does up to 11 pounds of laundry at a time it literally is a washer it's just a mini washer it's not one of those itty bitty ones you put in the tub this one's got rollers and casters and all the bells and whistles so i made a deal with her i'll be talking about that in my debt update but i purchased that for her and that should be delivered by tomorrow to her house in oklahoma so that's what we have for today questions comments concerns suggestions i'll leave them in the comment section down below we will catch you in our update video with our debt in the next video Till then, take care. Without Limits is out.